Hey guys, it's Cass, and welcome back to Shadowcraft SMP. This is episode 3, and in this episode we will be building our first shop setup, which is kind of what you see me spinning around with here. But before that, I knew I needed to build out my enchantment table kind of setup area. So I've been trying to utilize each top of these, like, each one of the hilltops um, in a kind of different way. So we have our enchantment table down and we get setting down our um, bookcases. You know, we are talking in the chat about setting up our shops. Um, Moon has a wool shop. I will show you a little bit of mine later. I believe that Sham is going to have an iron shop. And then I believe Zyphi is going to have or has like the grind or it's it's like grind ink or something like that where he makes or not makes but grinds for a lot of the stuff that nobody wants to grind for, which would be much appreciated like the deep slate. but I knew one of the most important things I could do was get to enchanting my stuff and I get the enchanter advancement, which you can see Sham's kind of raising his arms up and excited for me, which is awesome. <laughs> um, first round through, I don't really feel like I got a bunch of good enchants, but I felt like having something on most of my armor and or weapons was better than having nothing and then I can always use that grindstone you can see and change things out and you know put things on books and put the books on my armor and then also buy books from Moon because that's up oh she's gonna have the wool shop but she's also gonna sell um, enchanted books which is awesome I've already gotten four mending books from her so <laughs> been super helpful to have that on all my tools just because I'm using them so much but again I try to keep playing with the birch theme since most of the biome that I'm in has birch and then utilizing the copper blocks because I said I kind of wanted to use those throughout all of my builds in some way here and I'm gonna leave everything kind of like an open theme but here I tried to actually start enchanting my gear, I guess my armor. <laughs> and definitely need that feather falling three, I'll take it. And I do end up with, uh, eventually end up with both a silk touch pick and a fortune. In here, I believe I get fortune one, but I do end up, I'm able to get fortune three later, which is awesome. And then <laughs> here, if you can see on my subtitles, there's zombie villagers. I did not realize there's so much here within the mod pack that I didn't know about. And I didn't know that there were zombie villager spawners. Like how you can see the mineshaft I'm in is very different. It's all because of the mod. And I didn't know that this was going to be this crazy. But they just pour out. And they don't stop pouring out when I break this block. I like panic a little bit. I run away. So many of them are like falling into boats. <laughs> And I'm just like, <laughs> at the time I start typing in chat um, with everyone, like, what is going on? It's a whole village. The whole village just keeps like dumping out. This guy didn't get trapped in a boat, so unfortunately he had to catch the sword. But I felt like it was probably safest to block some of this off since I realized that they just keep coming in and you can see they just keep coming and coming <laughs> I'm able to throw it on a boat to get him in too 
it, it was just, it was honestly cool and overwhelming to see how many of them <laughs> just kept coming. So we were joking about doing a haunted house thing. So stay tuned for that. Maybe that's something we can create for Halloween. That would be so much fun. Um, but yeah, you could see in the chat, I'm like, I didn't know that this was a thing. Um, but you can see they just don't stop coming. <laughs> I guess it turns out there's a zombie village responder, like I said, and I end up finding it later in the mineshaft. Um, but yeah, I just keep letting these guys pour on in. And I do bring Zyphy down to show him. <laughs> he was making me so nervous. I thought he was just going to fall in. Like, I know he's crouching, obviously, but I was like, it's just going to take one thing of them hitting him somehow and he's going to go in. But I showed both uh, Zyphy and Sham this situation with the villagers. And then I come over to Sham to give him iron blocks. We did an iron block, or he bought iron blocks for me for emeralds. I was just throwing them at him. <laughs> and there's the diamonds, very nice. Just admiring his modern lime and white house with the deep slate. And then poking fun at myself how I don't even have a build really yet. I just have like a garden shed. <laughs> I will get there eventually. And then I know that he was um, trapping pillagers or had a few already. So he ends up coming to try to, I have three of them here. Two of them end up dying through the process, but I, he can have them for free, which is what I tell him here, but then I sell him um, three name tags. So, you know, he's only able to use one here, but then he can keep the two for whatever. And I make a joke that I'm not responsible for any deaths that may occur. Because, you know, that's, I feel like that's just a long-standing joke within SMP realms and stuff like that in Minecraft with other creators. And at first I told him two, then I'm like, no, there's three. This is where he's like, I don't have name tags. And then I sell them to him and he heads over. And then I throw them at him and he throws back the diamonds. And I kind of just stand back. This is Zyphy's horse in the gold armor, if you can see that next to me. But I kind of just stand back and watch this chaos go down a bit. I tried to distract them from hitting him by trying to get them to focus on me. But then I didn't think about the fact that they would probably be shooting each other. So maybe I should have just walked away altogether. <laughs> but just watching him get shot while he's building up a wall was kind of funny. <laughs> but then this is where I get started on my shop and I knew I wanted to because I had found, I found two mine shafts at this point and I figured rails would be fun at some point to do. I figured it would just be the ease, one of the easiest things to kind of put in my shop first. Plus, um, you can see I have like leaves. I end up building it out with, um, trying to go around with the birch and stuff again to keep that pretty similar throughout all my builds, like I've said. Um, but I do end up selling these two leaves that you see here to the side, uh, railroad tracks, powered rails, um, some of the mossy stone bricks, and then some mushrooms, and some flower piles, and a few other things. As well, like mycelium is one of them that you'll see. But I was just trying to come up with like more of an organic type thing. So there's the powered rails, the rails, these leaves, those leaves. And then the mossy stone bricks. 
and then I said each half stack is one diamond and then I started a mycelium farm which is awesome I didn't know if it would actually work but it does so now I got it spreading and then I'm selling that as well and then here I set a stack of 10 mycelium equals one diamond which is awesome And then, like I said, staying true with the copper, we go around and put copper slabs kind of everywhere to give it that same kind of vibe. And again, very much the open air kind of market theme idea. Build up a bit to get a little bit of a better view. And here's the mushrooms that I'm gonna be selling and the piles of flowers that I spread out and I do five per each diamond with those and I'm going kind of going over everything and showing it to you again here and then we run up here and I've got the mycelium the flower piles and the mushrooms which I do end up finding a bunch more colors but you'll see that later but thank you guys for watching that's the end of this episode See you guys on next week's Shadowcraft episode, and I might stream some more of it later, but see you later. Bye!